Explain the role that ESPN has played in your life over the years. Well, ESPN, without ESPN, uh, there's no Hall of Fame. There's no uh, the financial success I've had. Uh, there's no commercials. There's no books. Uh, there's no Dickie V. I mean, ESPN has been vital in my life. Uh, it's like my second family. I always talk about, you know, uh, the love I have for my family, obviously, my wife, my daughters, uh, my mom and dad up in heaven. But ESPN is my second family. They've been beautiful to me. The first game you broadcast for ESPN, I believe Wisconsin and DePaul in Chicago. And you said after that first game, you were just hooked. What was it about that? I don't know. It, it was just an incredible feeling. What it, what it involved, when I did that game, it was just unbelievable. It's a shot in the arm, walking in, talking with Ray Meyer, famous coach. Well, uh, they were number one in the country, DePaul at the time, Mark McGuire, all their players. And it was great. But I will never forget the chaos I caused because I had no idea. You know, Graham, I don't know nothing about TV. Many of us... That what do you mean you don't know anything well, about TV? Well, no, seriously, you guys are pros at it. You study it in <laughs> journalism. I mean, what are we? We're jocks. Somebody gives you a microphone to go talk about a game. And it started. So the first question, basically, what about uh, the Paula, Wisconsin? And I went on like an unbelievable monologue was unreal, like three minutes or two minutes or whatever it was. Now, yeah, the ball's got this, blah, blah, blah. And today they teach us, you know, 20 seconds, man, boom, bam, go to the next. You learn, and I've learned 37 years of experience. What were some of the fundamental lessons that you learned early on that helped you as you progressed as a broadcaster? Well, you know, I think basically the one lesson you learn is you gotta listen. You gotta listen to your partner. You know, it's a two-way street. It's not one guy. It's not one man doing his thing. It's two people. So learning how to listen, number one. I pride myself in that. I mean, I'm listening when people say something, whether it be a producer, director. I'm observing what they're saying, and I'm listening, and I may carry it. The second thing is learning the art of getting in and out. Learning that art takes a while. A lot of guys, I feel very bad for them. You know, they start out and today they get critiqued so early and they have no experience. I mean, there were a lot of guys who I thought would be good in television, guys you recommend, and when the red light comes on, it's a different animal. It's a different kind of guy. And I, I, I learned to relax when the red light comes on. I learned that you're gonna make some mistakes. Uh, but fundamentally, I think, number one, listening is vital. Number two, the art of getting in and out.